What up, y'all? Just in case, season's adding to do here with another one for the Mushroom Chronicles. Bring you back down. Um, the Mushroom Chronicles. This is basically where I just kind of take you guys through the things that I'm doing uh, in Mushrooms. When I'm learning um, all my wins, all the failures, all the different things that I'm doing. So if you are thinking about getting involved in mushrooms, this might be a great place for you to check out. If you have been in mushrooms for a long time, you got some pointers, yo, of course, they are greatly appreciated down below. Today, what I'm doing is, as you can see, some straw inoculation. Uh, and I'm gonna be utilizing buckets. Right now, the way that it's going is I am pr pretty close, 50, 50, I have to say. Uh, bags and buckets. I'm mostly just doing oysters at the moment, but I'm doing a bunch of different types of oysters right now. So just about everything is getting ran either on wood or on the straw, just so I can see what's doing better where um, and what's easier for me. I'm still trying to get my legs here to try to see what's best for my system. I know a lot of people went straight with bags. I dig that. I'm doing my best to um, cut down on the amount of waste that I'm actually pushing out there. A bucket is something that I can reuse over and over again. I know many mushroom farmers out there have gone down this road before and have all gone over to bags. I can pretty much see why. Right now, I plan on doing right about 100 pounds of substrate. Um, that's 10 buckets. That's pretty much 10 buckets uh, filled up to 10 pounds of wet substrate. So that's what we plan on doing for the day. I also have about another 250 pounds of bags filled with wood substrate um, going right now in my incubator. So like I said, we're, we're, we're trying it both ways, but I can definitely see myself going over into the bag world, even when it comes to my straw, especially if I can get my hand on some straw pellets. But in the meantime, in between time, I figure I'll just show you guys how I'm doing it now when it comes to my straw. Mm. I'm gonna throw some of this beautiful mycelium inside of these buckets here and show you guys how I get down. Right now, I'm gonna be doing a golden oyster next to all these. I am right now generating all my own spawn. So I'm gonna use a little bit more than what you might use. For a five pound bag, I use almost this whole entire jar. And so what I've been doing with the buckets is um, actually putting in a full one of these and maybe like, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do two full ones to be honest with you. Uh, just to see if I can't get my mushrooms going kind of fast. A lot of people are hitting me up, so I want to get these mushrooms going as fast as I possibly can. Maybe this is, yeah, this is done on the 21st. No, this was done, I'm sorry, on the 18th of, um, of uh, February. So, I don't know, about two weeks now. But anyway, it looks beautiful, and it's not taking me that much time. And for the most part, it's kind of, I don't want to use the word free, but it's not costing me a lot to, to make these. So yeah, I'm gonna use a lot just to get the ball rolling and then eventually uh, we'll probably scale back. Actually not too much. Like I said, uh, most people that I've been seeing when they go to inoculate, at least their bags, what I've been seeing them do is right about a half pint to a little bit more. Um, I've been hearing different little calculations here, but the, the jars are a lot easier for me to be able to measure. So I've been doing it that way. Otis, nobody chomping on dragon fruit before i started recording i came out here and bleached down the uh the table here at this point man i'm not really too concerned with contaminating anything one as you can see this mycelium has fully colonized this jar it's not to say that this can't get contaminated, but the likelihood of it getting contaminated is you know it, it's not more than likely not going to happen this has already been sterilized i sterilized this last night uh I kind of do a pasteurization into a sterilization, so I just call it sterilization, uh, just because of the way that I am actually going about that whole process. Um, it's just a lot easier for me just to kind of let it go on up into the sterilization realm of about 200 degrees. But I aim for 160 because straw, fortunately, does not need to get pasteurized. because of the process that it already does to actually get it to become straw. So it doesn't need to get uh, the full pa uh, sterilization. Pasteurization works just fine. 160 degrees at right about an hour and a half. Hold on. Come on, let's take off your harness. Come here. Yeah, so this is fully colonized, so I'm not really worrying about any kind of contamination happening into the jar. 
so to speak. As far as a straw, now the straw is a selective substrate, meaning that not everything can grow on it. Another reason that I really want to go with straw is because it's something that's very easy. It's been proven to me um, over the years. I can actually utilize a lot of this straw as a mulch. After I've harvested these mushrooms about two or three times, I'll then be taking this old substrate and then putting it out on my fields and utilizing it as mulch. I'm really looking forward to um, seeing exactly how it benefits my soil. And we actually might get some mushrooms coming now. But for the most part, we're just using it for um, for for mulch when it goes when it goes out there all right so the first thing i'm going to be doing is breaking this stuff up you can use uh your hand i've seen people do this um that i mean you can see it already broke it works but when you're doing a bunch of these jars using the palm of your hand kind of sucks you can already see it kind of breaking uh, what i do like to do however it's always better when i'm using my boots <laughs> but i know i do have a big tennis ball uh, that you can get from PetSmart. It really helps out in busting these things up. We're going in. This is how you grow mushrooms in buckets. Five gallon ones. First I need is a bucket. This is pretty optional. These are all alfalfa pellets. This is the other type of medium that I use when it comes to our wood substrate because I can't find soy hole, but I can find this. I like to put some of these at the bottom of the bucket. And I'll just put a bed of straw. Make sure you're sterilizing your hands. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle some of this stuff on here. Let's break it up. Some of these big pieces, or whenever you get big clumps, I like to break them up just so I have more points of contact. And then add more straw. Now this is one way of doing it, this layering technique. I like to do a bit of a combination, so I'm gonna show you that. Make sure there's no contamination up there. Oh, that's so beautiful. Much easier with boots. You can see why actually using a bag would be a lot easier than using uh, these jars as well. With a bag, you can easily just massage all these grains. I'll also give it a smell to make sure it smells good. Mycelium should smell good. If it smells off, it's off. Just leave it alone. Follow your nose. It always knows what you dig. I don't know if you guys can see it in the buckets, but there's like all kind of uh, millet all in there. That's another cool thing about using millet. See how much it just kind of spreads all over the whole entire bucket. Anyway, when you're mixing, you want to make sure that there's uh, kind of plenty accounted for and that it's spread evenly throughout the bucket. This is what I consider the top right here. Uh, the top hole is right here. So there's no need for me to really concentrate too much on the on what's going on uh, too much higher than that hole. I just want things to be fruiting out of this, right? So 
I kind of just fill it in. I'll leave this somewhat with some air just so there's some kind of exchange going on constantly. I mean, there is still holes and stuff as well. Ideally, your substrate should be like this. When you squeeze it, there's no water coming out. See that? This straw has been soaking overnight. And then it was sterilized. 